Good enough for government work. Right, exactly. Perfect. And advanced training! Yeah, that's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a long while. But okay, so we're at a combat simulation now, and we somewhat know our squads a little bit better here, so... Let's try... Well, let's see here. Let's look around. What's our, our current... They're all in about the 40 range. So let's try... Right, the next... The, you know... The current grind area that we have currently is 3-5. That's the, the grind house for this current area, I suppose, before we move on to Chapter 4. We'll get to that, and Chapter 4 is actually really funny, because Chapter 4 you can kind of just blitz through. A Dancing Fool, you do actually get a an XP penalty if you go over a certain level with these places, so you need to move up. After 3-5, the next grinding area is 4-3-E, which is, which is what I've been using in order to grind my, you know, the Thompson squad in the, uh, in the, uh, on my alt account. The, the, that one's actually very good because it's really, 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 really easy, and also it coughs up, uh, three stars. Not, like, not an amazing amount of three stars, but, you know, a fair or decent amount to get course. Make sure you have a one handgun dummy squad for 3-5. Yeah, I'd advance sim. All right, all right, right, right. And, yeah. Well, you know, actually, we could do that fairly easily right now. I haven't set that up, and we have quests. I haven't set that up, actually, but uh, we can do that fairly easily in, well, um, going to formation and then making Echelon 7. Echelon 7 is for, well, who's cheap? Who's standing here? Takarev! Takarev, you stand there. I didn't actually fire you, but Martin bought an airsoft version of you. The trigger's really fucking weird. That counts. Alright, so. Now we go into 3 4, or 3 5, and then. Well, Takarev, you just stand there. Just stand there while everyone else does all of the work. Alright, so next... Well, our main squad is doing a whole lot better, but I think we just need to continue leveling the shotgun squad until they get to a point where they can actually really be reliable. They're actually really disappointing based on their level. They're not really doing so well. Yeah, I understand the, I understand the entire point behind the... Like, having that one squad with that one pistol while you're grinding. They literally just sit there and they don't take up any resources when you're... while you're going through the, the mission over and over and over and over again. If you had a full squad there, they'd, they'd be eating up resupply. They'd, they'd be, they wouldn't be using any ammo, but they, they'd be eating MREs. And so you'd be spending more resources than you actually have to. That squad... that second squad doesn't do anything. It doesn't move. It doesn't attack anything. It just has to stand there on the command point because you need someone to stand there. They use MRE just standing there. All right, and the manpower, and the manpower cost to get them there as well. Level one handgun. Oh, hey, look, an Ingram double. You know, as much as I like Ingram, cores, more cores, and this is actually how you're supposed to grind cores, really. Though you use like you use World Zero for that kind of shit. World Zero is spooky. World Zero is where all the bad things happen. Like waterboarding. But the idea is for everyone at the everyone at home that hasn't figured this out. What you're supposed to do to get cores at the basically at the end game is to grind missions that will give you three stars. And then you immediately junk the three stars for their cores. So that's how you continuously level at the end game. But the only problem is we haven't got to World Zero yet. We're not that strong. 
World Zero is Rhodesia. It might be Rhodesia. I'm not confirming or denying anything. But yeah, there you go. There's that. So we got some levels here and then we got some things done. And now we need to do that over and over and over again. Hi, Alchan. Need five M M16 for tanky, at least. Yes, M16, M16A1 can now realize her full potential now because we can actually get her a ballistic vest. And then we can have an AR team that buffs other ARs. And then like we have an AR team that buffs the ARs themselves, and also that has all these buff tiles for making one SMG really, really fucking good. That's what Annie Rain is gonna be for. Hmm, not bad. Actually, no, M16's full potential has not. So, what's M16's full potential then? What's the next stage in human evolution? Or rather, T-Doll. All oh, right, the unique gear. Do we actually have any of the unique gear for anyone else? I mean, SDR, ST, yeah, right. Star 15 has like super secret APCR rounds. Do we have those? I know, I think, I think soap mods count, doesn't need special equipment really because the, the, her thing is she can mount two scopes. Bacon is, but we're not a whale. I didn't wail anything. I'm an innocent, hardworking, I'm an innocent, hardworking, you know, man who plays, you know, waifu games. I don't spend any money. I'm, hello, fellow grinders, right? Uh, right, the BLE for, from night, th yeah, right, 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 right. That's it. An MP5, a, a lot of, a, a lot of, um, a lot of the T-Dolls have specialized equipment, like, well, also the um what is it? Moisen the Gaunt and somebody else, I forget, has the uh <laughs> has a core that is basically the white death. Or there has an equipment that basically makes her the white like oh right, it's it's Moisen the Gaunt and Suomi. Right, right. Simohaya. White death mode. Activate. And there's also Bar's ship, but apparently Bar's chip is shit. So hmm. All right, so do we have any more? No, we don't. We didn't. We didn't get any of that. But we need to actually get back to work. <laughs> All right, so we just go back into three. This is it. This is what we're doing today. We need to actually. Yeah, it's a worse ammo box, unfortunately. Something like I don't. I, don't, I, I didn't look at it terribly. Like I didn't look at it terribly hard, but that's the that's the generalized opinion I was given right as I was looking for information on it. It's apparently old meta and doesn't matter anymore. It was never it's never it, it's never been adjusted. So we're not at the level of we're not at the level of power creep yet that would you know make certain things not good. But apparently that doesn't get touched that hasn't gotten touched and will never get touched from what it is. Hey Fonda, I've got a Soviet squad poster from Anime X, and I'm willing to, to part with it since I got the AR team poster. What's in the Soviet squad poster? Alright. As you can see, everybody's getting lot, lots of XP. Lots of good, good XP. But the ah, pff, enemy ambush, right? The the main thing you want to do with these grinding missions is you want to find one that you can do infinitely, because you want to be able to do it as many times as you need to in order to grind. The problem with using a shotgun, unfortunately, is that they're guaranteed to take damage, even if their main thing is to reduce the damage to almost nothing, as you can see by the stream of ones here. That's kind of well. That's your gas tank, basically. For everybody else, and this is why, at the high level, most people would argue that SMG evasion tanks are better than shotguns because SMG, well, because evasion outright avoids the damage. They don't take damage. Shotguns absorb the damage and thus thus will need repairs at the end of the mission guaranteed. 
SMGs avoid all of the damage under optimal conditions. So this is why people would argue that shotguns aren't meta. But I still want my shotguns because 590, well, 590 is a Mocha Tan girl, and that's quite nice. But, and additionally, um, shotguns are cool. Yeah, yeah, fuck meta. Right, that's my- that's- that's- You know, I, it's kind of funny, really, because my usual- my usual personality for going into these sorts of things is really fuck the meta, and I should be- I should be the one kind of, like, really, if it was me a couple of years ago, I would immediately have come in with ID- like, IDW on my fucking shoulders, basically. And honestly, maybe I- maybe I've forgotten how to be that guy. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it was all the people calling me shit at War Thunder when I actually started doing videos on it. Hmm. Maybe it was also World of Tanks, too. Maybe I've forgotten how to be... me. Maybe I need to relearn this. Although IDW is still really disappointing right now. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, you know, let's, just because we can. And out with the core. We have eight cores. Bar could also, well, we're, we're short one for bar. We need more cores. And this is more or less, well, until you get to the high level, this is basically, like, uh, to the uh, the end game, more or less. This is how you're supposed to operate this, kind of. This is basically what you're supposed to do in the mean meantime of actually, you know, completing the story missions. This is how you actually get to the point where you can actually clear the worlds, really, in a lot of cases. Though, in some cases, you know, in some cases I've been over-leveling, especially at the beginning. But... Right about now, we, mm, we're kind of half and half, I suppose. I think I could get to World 4 if I really wanted to. However, I think our, uh, I think IDW herself is uh, reaching the end of her, or well, end of her run here in terms of uh, the ability to absorb damage. Perhaps I should have repaired her before we went into this one. I can help with the boss command. Thanks, Hamekun. You see, if I, you see, that's another problem as well. Did he forget to repair again? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I, I have faith in the girls. They can handle it. You just need to dodge. God damn it! Dodge. Dodge. She's not dodging. Dodge. Five ninety. You just sit there and absorb damage. You. I think. I think five ninety has enough health to get through this. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look, C96! Cores! Okay, so let's see if we can get through this without totally trashing the entire squad, spending way more repair tickets than I need to. Hmm. Hmm. This is where we're going to take most of the damage, and, uh, hmm. Well, we haven't triggered the retreat, retreat animation yet. Well, now we have. Um, bar. Bar, 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 You. <laughs> ah, bad. That's, that's not how you grind at all. That's not how you grind at all. That's not how you grind at all. Um... Oh, um... Um... Uh... <laughs> Takarev, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, no. Oh. 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 Uh, is there... Uh-oh. Uh oh, she... Oh. Ter term terminate mission. T term ter bail out. Bail out! <laughs> Pull Takarev out of there! This is not time to die! That was dumb. That was me making a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake, Fonto! Rookie mistake! I'll have your goddamn command position! 
said Kruger, probably. Don't forget to repair. Remember, kids, don't forget to repair. Take care of the dolls, especially the ones you owe. We didn't actually use those ones, though. So at least I'm not guilty of that one. Rookie fucking mistake. All right, well, yeah. The damage wasn't that bad, but now we go back into that. It's okay, Takarev. I'm totally. I'm. I'm. I, oh, but unfortunately, she now has to use all of her resources. Uh, hmm. Right. How do we turn off her auto resupply? I think I actually. Hmm. One second. Because I don't want her to actually have all of those bull. Yeah, this is nice. I had to bail her out of this mission, and then. I gotta do it in the menu. Right. The menu. Right. All right, then. Announced Girls Frontline 2. GF2? What, what, what now? Different genre of game. Ooh, interesting. Right, it's in the options menu. Right. So, let's see here. Uh, auto resupply. Off. That. That might cause more problems down the road, but you know what? I think I can manage to do this properly. I, I think I can handle this. It's just, it's not like I failed a rookie mistake and then decided to make the game even harder. It's not like I could fuck this up down the road. But let's see here. Right, so we need to start the operation. And then, then we actually have to manually resupply. Right. Which is quite a lot of things, but you know, we'll handle it. It's going to mess up even more. Most likely! But you know what, it's a skill to have in terms of other things as well. Understanding exactly how the, uh, the little things work, it helps. You never get better if you don't push your boundaries. Hmm. But unfortunately, now we're in the long grind. The long, long grind. The long, long, the long, long grind is level 30 to 70, which is your third dummy core to your fourth. It takes forever. <laughs> Hello, SKS. Statistically speaking, IDW does have, uh, well, one of the two highest evasions in the game, making her logically the best evasion tank. The other one is FMG9, though I can swear by FMG9 herself, but uh, IDW is certainly not literally living up to expectations here. We need to- I'm going to level her purely because, well, getting her to her maximum level once is a kind of good idea. Yeah, Wasteland, I, I, I know that specifically. Her raw stats just say it all. Over a hundred evasion. You're, you don't get higher than that, and that's the point. That's- if you want an extreme... You want to you want an extreme uh, you know case of who is the best the best the best the best it's IDW in terms of it being an evasion tank just in raw numbers however it takes fucking forever to get there and also her her mod three outfit is pretty cool I'll give her that oh. SVT more slob rifles. Time limited events, right, okay, what did we win here? Re oh right, the rescue T-Dolls thing. Right, this grinding is actually pretty well timed, mainly because all of these require grinding, so win combat missions, 
Um, and then deploy support echelons, we'll get to that later. And then, uh, what is it? Consume energy, and then repair. You see, that's actually helped me out here a little bit. <laughs> repair, and then there's, uh, then there's logistic support. It's quite a lot of that. And then rescue T-Dolls for missions, which is basically just, you know, win encounters and get T-Dolls. So all of these are, this is all grinding. You can do all this with grinding. So right now, this is, we're synergizing well with the whole grinding aspect. Oh, hey, Buckshot. Neato. Ooh. Boy, we got two 40s. If, uh, hmm. Hmm. We'll come back and see those. But let's see here. When can... When can 590 actually equip that shit? 50, huh? Right? Or rather... Let's see here. No, not that. Right, so, magazine, yeah, right, shotgun shells. Right, so, you know what, we'll get them to level 50 in this whole little grind here. We'll get this, we'll get second echelon to 50, and then we'll get the first echelon to 50 as well. But also, one other thing, also, as I remember, just sitting here like an idiot, we have nine, well, we're going to have nine cores. Where's the... No, that's, that's, that's wrong, right? Where's the, there it is. Junk! Dummy Link! Well, Genesis, I'll look at it, I'll look at the, uh, I'll, I'll look at that later, after I'm done here. But, let's see here, right, course, right, so. Three dummies. And now we need to feed our guns more. All right. Right, evasion. Yeah, 40. Yeah, that's probably why. We need to feed the cat. And also, additionally, getting all these, rescuing all these T-Dolls to immediately break them down to do something else is also going to help us with leveling the squad. You see, now now you see how the horrible industri military industrial complex as it truly stands. The horrible grinding machine. It thirsts for tea dolls. And, you know, blind repetition. Okay, so, Takarev, once again, take your position just kind of standing there. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get a, both of our first echelons to 50, and then we're going to see exactly what we can do in terms of equipment. And also, I got to remember here, because I'm not manually resupplying, I need to do that. I need to not fly off the handle. I need to I need to not go on auto mode. But I didn't repair, but they have enough. They have enough health. It seems like three repetitions is kind of the problem. So, you know, doing two repetitions and then repairing shouldn't be an issue. Sopmod's voice is very squeaky. That laugh, though. That laugh, though. Well, thankfully we've got more damage coming out of bar now. We're not exactly uh, hitting at level, I suppose, or rather doing anything ex extremely challenging, but, well, it makes the whole machine run a little bit more efficiently. But bar's not going to get really good until we can actually put that wonderful ammo box we got on. Which she needs to get to level 80 in order to actually equip anyway. It's gold, so you need to be level 80. And the magazine slot is level 80. So, we're not going to get that for a while. Ah. 
<laughs> you'll just end up making spending 50 contracts to make MP5. Ah, oh, Verano, that won't ha- Actually, it happened to me twice. <laughs> Though, the upside is that if you do do heavy construction 10 times, you do get a free shotgun. So, there is that. And remember, the official report says I used heavy constru- I used heavy construction once and got a shotgun, and then never touched it ever again. Captain China. <laughs> is that what her nickname is? I- oh, right, the shield. Right. Right. Captain China. <laughs> but, ah, uh, yes, repair. Right, right. Repairs. Yes, good. Tanks. Fixed. Operating at peak capacity. Anime titties. We just also need to- I also need to get M37, because it's gonna be kind of funny that we get to 1800 points. We will. We will get there very easily with all this shit. And I won't actually have M37 to- I'll, I'll just have a- I'll just have a, a, a bikini hanging in a fucking closet somewhere. This is where- and this is where I would put my M37, IF I HAD ONE! It's just, you know, it's, it's just a very, very loose, very, very, very revealing string bikini hanging in a fucking closet. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are gonna feel the same way, though. <laughs> yes, Kyod- uh, Kyodai, I have a bikini hanging in my closet. It's for my wife. If I had one! <laughs> uh, too real. Way too real. But you get my joke. I think a lot of people are gonna feel that way with M37's costume. They're gonna get it! And then they're not gonna actually get her! Honestly, it would've been nice if M37 was the freebie shotgun. Give it to Takao. Takao doesn't- well, you know, depending on the art, really. Takao is that stack, depending on who's drawing her. Everybody wants spass. Everyone wants the fat girl. I'm sorry, the thick girl. Thick. I want Spaz 12 because I've used the gun in the other video games. Everybody's used to Spaz. Well, good on you, Febnik. Well rod a good. Well rod, well rod actually very good. I do want a well rod at some point here because I think that's gonna make that's the th that's one of the things that's gonna make the NTW you know one click boss kill squad very good because she's a pistol, which means she could she she could buff NTW 20, but she also has high evasion, meaning that she can tank for the entire squad. Oh fuck! I did it again. I I did I did it I did I did it I did it abort abort. Abort! 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 <laughs> Rookie mistakes, Fonto! Rookie mistakes! God damn it! I did it again! I did it again! Yeah, you know what, let's just- I, I, I had this thought. I had this thought of myself, because it's like, I know I can get around this if I'm trying, but no, no, it's not one of those days. It's really just not one of those days. I knew this was gonna happen, and I thought it was gonna happen, but I thought, you know what? Maybe if I apply myself, it still fucking happened. Still fucking happened. I knew that was gonna happen, but you know what? I tried. So there's that. All right, Takarev, here's your magazine. Whatever, this just makes the entire machine run smoother. I'm way too used to doing this. 
Casual reminder that the Gacha Gods gave me two car 98s today. Two. To me. A, ca a commander of my caliber. People are going to hate me and hate my luck. Here's your magazine and snacks. And also, Doomfire, congratulations on your Russian prison gun. I kind of just wish her art was better, even though I do enjoy the idea of the KS-23. It's a shotgun, made out of shelka barrels. This is cool. I do like the shark tooth girl, but I think... Eh, it could be better. Duh. Well, we do need doubles for her. Take your semit. What's so special about Alpha? Oh, look, more cores. Well, M14, it's lucky for you that your job today is going to be very, very simple. Get in the tent. M14 is very good. You should consider leveling a 14 for your, you know, your rifle squads, because high rate of fire rifles are very good. However, of course. Her 14... M14's art is also very good. Also very nice. However, of course. Because we need them. And also, also I already have an M14, so, eh. I just haven't leveled her yet. Mm -hmm. Well... 590 is going to get to 50 fairly quickly. One thing I've also been neglecting is skills, and we need to get on that. Mainly because it takes so long, and I'm not exactly I'm not actually setting them up before I leave. So we need to get on that in terms of uh, in terms of leveling our dolls, because you do definitely need to get you know level the skills that they have in order to get the best out of them. So, I'm gonna start trying to do that, and it's probably gonna come in hand-in-hand in hand with me, you know, playing Girls Frontline on stream more often. SKSs, more, more, more boxes of SKSs. You can, you can smell the Cosmoline from here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Take it fucking forever, but we're getting there. Mm hmm. And now the fixings. Car ninety eight took a shot there. Our, uh, our political officer, I suppose. Once again goes back to the command center, and then uh, yeah, 590 squad comes out, and we continue again. <laughs> Running low on quick repairs there. That's what I was trying to avoid. However, I suppose that's about it. That may, that may stop our grinding adventure today, just flat out running out of repair tickets. We're gonna have to wait for our logistics squads to come back in. But at least we're getting some something out of it. Unfortunately, it's mainly just down to the sh well, 590 being 590. The shotguns require repairs after every single mission, which requires quick repairs in order to keep running at maximum efficiency, and then the number of quick repairs that you have suddenly becomes the amount of missions you can run before you have to actually stop. Or you shower your shower the game in money to buy your way to waifus. Still, who does that? I don't know who does. I don't know a single person that does that. Look, I'm surviving alone on IDW double, doubles. This is how I'm getting to where I am right now. I didn't spend any money at all. Take your Who you calling a kettle pan? Yes, KGB documents that will never be declassified. Burned. Disposed. Hmm. Okay. Again. Repairs. Oh. Well, that helps. Tinker. t doll Tinker. Are you implying something, video game? This is regular maintenance. Absolutely nothing untoward about it. Since we couldn't do it the super duper awesome skilled way, with, you know, up 8 billion moving parts, we'll just brute force it. Like you can, yeah, yeah, I can do two two runs. But you see, when I do two runs, I for, I, I start to forget because I'm just trying. I'm I'm trying to make a you know a rotation of this that doesn't require me to stop. So yeah, I could do, sit back and do two rotations of this without actually having to repair. 
but then that that puts pressure on Fonto to actually not be an idiot. You know, this is what I this is what I usually do. I find things that are difficult, but I can work down to something easy. So I so there's no chance for me to be stupid and fuck it up, even though I do fuck it up most of the time. We could be a little bit more efficient here. I could use a little bit more of my brain power. <laughs> the chat will remind me. Yeah, right. You guys are looking out for me, right? Okay, right. 46. 590 is getting to 48. She'll probably get 48 by the end of this mission. Hmm. So this is where Kara is taking her damage, huh? Makes sense since we... Well, the, the, ba the bottom row is open. Uh, there we go. All right. Yeah, at that point, you don't need to, right? I know all of these things. I can see them together. But you know what? I just keep mashing buttons in order to make it go faster. Oh, look. More, more things for the event. Commander Leech's level 30. How about that? Hey, look! A complimentary AK-47 for cores. And hey, look, we can make another key doll. Quick production contract, quick repair contract, a part. How about that? Free AK-47s for everyone! All right, rescue 30 T. You see, we're, making, we're getting through with the grinding here. We're doing fine. Oh, look, we got another box. What's in the box? Ooh. 200 fucking batteries, huh? And calibration tickets. Neat up. Well, and that's more T-Doll contracts as well. Back to the factory! D even more batteries! Home with girls. Right, the slice of life anime. Right, batteries. Good. Now, hang on here. Now, you see here, um, it's just one thing. One th we need to spend those batteries on something. However, uh, Kalena is not at her desk! Kalena, what are you doing? And I, I can't... I, I can't rush those reports. Kalena! Oh, good. Get back to work. I pay you enough money. Even more money than I'm supposed to, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> 